Linda, welcome to Glasgow City. Um, how does it feel to join the club? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I feel so happy to be here. Uh, I mean, I've met the girls and the coaches and so far so good. Why did you pick Glasgow City as your kind of next club, your next destination? I mean, uh, I wanted to experience new environment. Uh, I've been in Sweden and now I wanted a new challenge. So that's why I chose Glasgow. You've been around uh, our Petersville Park base. You've met the squad this weekend. What do you make of the kind of surroundings here? I mean, uh, I know it's pretty cold now, but like uh, I've got a warm welcome from the girls and the coaches and I'm very happy, I must say. What has um, our interim head coach, Leanne Ross, had to say to you on, on your arrival? What have the kind of her and the coaching team said? I mean, uh, she has explained everything and I mean, uh, even off, on and off the field stuff and I understand everything so far and I'm happy. And you're coming to a, a club at the moment who's top of the league, you know, a good third or more through the season. Um, that was exciting, you're coming to a, a competitive squad which at the moment is trying to challenge to win back this league title. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've seen the team, they've been doing really, really well. And I'm just here to add value and hopefully to keep uh, the team weights at in terms of performance wise from my side. So I'm just hoping that I'll get along very well with the teammates and the coaches and take it from there. Women's football's grown so much and you're kind of, you know, in a year now, you're playing professional football. You've played, you know, in Spain, you played in China, you played in America, now in Scotland. Um, what was it like growing up? Did you start? Did you feel like you started to now see role models and, and people you could look up to now uh, that you've found yourself here? I mean, growing up, especially in South Africa, the development there, it's not as fast as in Europe. Uh, and I used to play with boys before I could play with girls. Uh, but I love where it's going, the direction of women's football. And uh, like you said, it's really growing. And that's amazing to see. One of the success stories in South Africa from Jeannie Van Vyck, the, the player we've had here at Glasgow City, set up her own academy. And what was kind of that experience like to get your kind of toes into the kind of playing with girls and, and growing up that way? I started my journey at High Performance Centre okay. before going to Jeannie's team. And I got my development structure from there. And once I got to Jenin's team, everything was set up. And she has really helped me develop as a player. And I've played with her for so many years. And it has been amazing. Yep. And we'll touch on that in a moment. Um, you kind of talked about the journey of perhaps football, women's football in Europe, go growing maybe a little bit quicker than South Africa. But you have had the opportunity to now play in Europe and further afield. Um, just what's it been like that you perhaps now you're living this dream as being a pro footballer and playing in all these different countries? What's it been like? I mean, the first time I went out outside of South Africa was USA, but I was not alone. I was with Janine and Tembi. So I've always had people around me and I was always comfortable and I never explored until I went to Sweden where I was alone and I had to be independent. So I've learned a lot throughout those years to actually stand up for myself and depend on myself and yeah. And you touched on you know playing alongside Janine, you know, particularly with your playing career, you've you've became a very established international bucket with the caps, lots of goals, AFCON winner. Um, you know, how will playing at Glasgow City perhaps help you continue to thrive internationally? I mean, uh, Janine has played a huge role in, in, in my life and since I got in, in the national team, she has always been supportive, she has always been my number one fan. And I mean, coming here and the things that she told me about this team, it's just amazing stuff. And she told me that I'm going to enjoy myself here and the environment itself, it's just amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, she's talked fondly of her time here, you know, had likes of Janine and Odi Fultidulu as well in recent years and absolutely loved her time at this club and you're another staff African going to be here playing the, with the Glasgow City jersey and as you've kind of hinted, I guess Janine's had plenty of advice to give. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Janine played a huge role in uh, for me to come here and like I said, the, the important thing that she said is that you are going to enjoy yourself here and uh, I mean, the style of play, it's going to suit me and the coaches and the players, they're very nice, they're very good people, so that's what is important for me. 
On the pitch, when we get to see you playing here at Petersville Park, what should the Glasgow City fans expect from you in the pitch? Uh, the Glasgow fans should expect uh, skills and just me enjoying myself here, basically. So, yeah. Okay, well, we'll look forward to seeing that. And I guess no pressure, but I have heard you've kind of got the nickname the, the Ran Von Teen, uh, Ronaldinho. Um, what's the origins of that? I mean, it started as a joke. My agent and I, we were just talking, and he was like, you know, sometimes the way you play, you play like Ronaldinho. So I'm just going to call you Ran Von Teen Ronaldinho. And that's how it came about. And he tweeted about it, and people actually agreed with him. But yeah, it's it's a lot of pressure because I mean Ronaldinho, so yeah. Yeah, well, it, it's, a, it's a good nickname anyway. Um, just finally, I asked about kind of what do, should fans expect from you on the pitch, just as you sign for the club, just a message for the supporters here today um, about you joining us. Uh, the message to the supporters will be, uh, I'm just here to do my job and I hope that they will welcome me warmly and um, I'm here to make them happy, so yeah. Perfect. Best of luck in your Glasgow City career. Thank you so much.